What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today guys, I want to talk about the new upcoming Doctor Who animations. Yep, not a singular day before my upload where I talked about how the Doctor Who animations are cancelled. Uh, they're not cancelled, they're back. Now, we did actually know about this because I'm pretty sure it was leaked. There are a couple other things that were leaked as well. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. But yeah, here we have the Underwater Menace animation now this is going to be a bit more of a quick video not really a fully scripted video i have some notes here but it isn't really scripted i just wanted to get out you know my reaction to the recent doctor who news not even just this specifically there's quite a lot that has come out in the past week or so that i want to talk about and yes week i couldn't really release any videos i have a small backlog that i can hopefully release over the next few days but for the more bigger videos they kind of require some more prep time as you guys all saw i'm sure was my big massive video i actually have a follow-up to that one i've already recorded edited like the whole video is complete including the thumbnail but i was looking back on it and it just it isn't that good i mean should i upload it probably I don't know, it would just be a waste of time if I didn't. But I felt like after releasing that bigger video, I, I should just let it breathe. If around six days, seven days, I must say, thank you so much for the support on my channel. We reached 1,000 subscribers. Now, I actually haven't reached it yet while recording this video. I'm at 930, but by the time this is uploaded, we should have it. In which case, thank you so, so much. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I have a backlog of videos. I'm working on a bunch of videos, hopefully some smaller ones which can come out soon and some bigger ones which might come out also soon. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. But we should probably get to the main topic of the video, right? The Doctor Who animations, the Underwater Menace animation. Yeah, I, I'm not too big a fan. I think I've said this before, but I just I just can't stand the animations. I think that the invasion animation was okay, and that's probably the only one that I can watch. The rest I just don't enjoy. I didn't even like the Reign of Terror. I didn't like the Moon Base. And then you skip ahead to the latest one, Web of Fear. Jeez, no offense to you know the people who do like them. They're not for me. They're not my style. I have watched them. I've watched them all. I prefer to watch the reconstructions now the reconstructions aren't perfect and i would actually say my ideal form of consuming these episodes is just through the audio through just listening to them most of these episodes have audiobook versions anyway and those are what i would recommend to people who want to you know consume the story because the animations they're just they're just not high quality enough to work I don't think. This animation seems to be in the same style as the Evil of the Daleks, the Abominable Snowman, which I personally like less than even the other Doctor Who animations. Sharda was probably the best Doctor Who animation because the audio is recorded specifically for it and even then I just... You guys saw, I talked about Shadow in a previous video. It's not my thing. I like the live action stuff. I do think Doctor Who can work in animation, but you know, it'd have to be something written, scripted, and conceptualized for animation instead of whatever this is. And I know I can't expect these animations to be high budget art, etc. They're meant to be perfectly serviceable enough. And I guess they are. I'm glad that they're still doing them. Let's say that. I'm happier now that there's confirmed that there's at least one more than I would be if they just stopped abruptly like what was thought to happen but with that being said they're just not for me do you understand the nuance to my opinions I think W that it's coming out you know big thumbs up that it's coming out but I won't be watching it well, I say that. I probably will be watching it. I just won't be enjoying it. I'm glad that there's going to be more classic Who content in general. It seems kind of clear to me that they're at least trying to build up to a season four collection edition. They've still got quite a way to go, but you know, it's cool. The Underwater Menace DVD was probably the worst Doctor Who release of all time. I would say there's probably the worst DVD Doctor Who release just ever, straight up. It's such a scam. So this will definitely be an improvement on that. But overall, yeah, that's my opinion on these animated Doctor Who episodes, these animated reconstructions. What I wanted to get onto was the recolorizations which is going around now. Now it hasn't been directly announced but 
I think it's highly likely to come out. I'm not a fan. I like Doctor Who being in black and white, or at least I like the black and white Doctor Who's to be in black and white. The Jumper Twee episodes that were black and white were recolorized and they look, I think they look pretty great actually, Mind of Evil especially. But the Hartnell and Troughton episodes, they just look weird when they're recolorized. I must say though, some people on YouTube have done a great job recolorizing certain scenes and they do look nice and you know, thumbs up to them. But I don't know, I don't think there's interest from me about this, unless it's also a blu-ray upscale in which case maybe i'd consider it but it's also not something which i'm super mega excited about and neither is the series one to four upscale that's a bit of a scam. Does it really count as 60th anniversary content? I made a video about this a couple weeks ago where I was talking about my honest thoughts of the 60th anniversary. I actually think that since then my appraisal of the anniversary has probably gone up just a little tiny bit. But I definitely think that this doesn't count as new content. I mean, we have upscale versions of series one to four already. I have most of them. I don't have every series upscaled, but I have series one and four. And you're telling me there's only one new document Documentary, only one that's not enough what they should have done is started doing you know modern series collection box sets now that would have been interesting I know these collection box sets and their special features required are a lot more than doing just this but it would be a lot cooler let's just say and at the end of it you'd probably make more money I don't know if that's how it works or if they care about that I don't really care about that but I definitely would have rather a kind of collection style modern series not that I desperately wanted one now or whatever but I just have no interest in this whatsoever. I think they're making a mountain out of a molehill, if that analogy is apt for that. And I guess that's all of the anniversary content updates that I've missed that I haven't made a video about so far. Apparently the 14th Doctor's final words got leaked because of a Fortnite thing. If you guys don't know, there's going to be a Fortnite Doctor Who celebration later in the year. It had to be pushed back because they're doing a thing with Lego. I don't know a thing about Fortnite, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, but I, I just know this from following online sources and apparently there's a line that's attached to like a skin of the 15th Doctor that may or may not be the final line of the 14th Doctor. When I saw it I thought that could be it, like that's quite convincing. It's not confirmed but I just thought I should probably put that in the video. Those might be his final line. Oh, I should probably say them out loud in case people are away from the screen, right? Like they're only listening and then they're watching. Let's hope the teeth are different this time. I mean, that could be it. But I think that's where we should wrap it up for today. Those are my thoughts on the new animation, the recoloring, all of the news that has come out recently around Doctor Who. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've gained something from the video. This is quite hodgepodge, isn't it? But anyway, I will see you next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.